What's up everybody? Today I'm going to be doing a token to go with my Elspeth and I'm going to make a set of Stormtrooper tokens because I am a huge fan of Stormtroopers. They are awesome. But what we're going to do first is we're going to get a base coat down. That way we can paint onto that without any of this background showing. We're going to use a nice light gray one, so let's go ahead and get that mixed up. What we're going to do is we're going to use a little white and a little black, a little less black. Now the paint I'm using is acrylic. So, I, I recommend acrylic. It works real good. You can see, I got it for two bucks at the five or less store. And I got the rest of my paint at Walmart these little tiny tubes here but all right let's go ahead and get into this been a while since I've done an alt art so I don't know how it's gonna turn out and at the end of the video I'll show off some of my other ones because who doesn't like showing off right ah my allergies are bugging me today but let's get that mixed up we're gonna use uh, my thickest brush here to kind of get the layer going. I don't have a picture of a Stormtrooper, so I'm using my little mint Stormtrooper tin as my guide. We're going to put that over there for now. But, nice little stack of soldier tokens. And here we go. We're just going to mix it up here. You want more white than black. Actually, maybe we'll, we'll make it a little bit darker because the Stormtrooper is pretty much an all-white dude. Yeah, and carefully lay that coat. It may take a couple of coats to actually get it down. The first one's basically your base coat. Then whatever you put it on after that will stick to it a little bit better. The stuff underneath won't show through. Carefully go along the borders. Like so. I'm not claiming to be the best artist in the world or even any good. I'm just subpar, I guess. I do what I can because it's fun, it's stress relieving, and I enjoy it. Every once in a while I'll get someone that likes what I do. And they're like, oh, I'll trade you for it. I got a rat token out of it, and one of them, that was, or I traded one of my rat tokens to someone for a, one of the full art lands from, I think, the Zendikar block like that so that was definitely worth it being I was looking into them so it gave me some trade value and I have some other altar arts in my white binder over here I'll show at the end I'll put a timestamp down in the description if you just want to skip over them but I do have fun doing this and I can only get better by by doing so you know like they say practice makes perfect so don't expect to just pick up a paintbrush and everything and be all, oh, I can do this no problem, even though I've never done it before because chances are you'll be like me and you'll ruin some cards or make, maybe, you know, maybe you'll even make them better. I don't know. Like, everyone's their own unique person. But let's go ahead and get this.
I'm what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let this dry for a little bit. If you have a heat lamp, it'll definitely make the progress go a lot quicker, but what I'm using is just a mechanical pencil. And what I wanna do is I wanna kinda like scribble on the paper behind it to dull out that end. Because the sharp corners will start to tear the paint off. <sighs> but let's put my stormtrooper chin pin right here and try to get our stormtrooper going. So let's see. Yep. What we're gonna use this as is like an outline for when we paint. body right now I'm just gonna go for the head because I I want to have the full extent of what I got to do I don't want to make too many mistakes but we're gonna trade this one out we're gonna spin it around in our water and get cleaned off all the way down to the bottom put that up there and we're gonna grab this nice one we got from Michaels. This is one of my better ones. Look how nice that is. It was like seven bucks, believe it or not. What we're gonna do is we're just gonna dip only white because that's all we need for the background of our armor. We're not gonna go all the way to the edge. We're gonna go a little bit back and just start here. This might be a couple coats also. use what we got here spread it around multiple coats is definitely what's going to be going on you know it doesn't look white and that's because well there's a black or gray acrylic underneath it it's going to try to bind with all that coloring and you can lay a thick coat but then you'll just get a bunch of like bubble looking stuff <laughs> i hate allergies don't you
Okay, it's been about five minutes. It's dry now. As you can see up here, I just started. So let's go ahead and get back into what we were doing. Like I said, just it's all about the layers. Just come around and take your time. You don't want to screw up your edges because then it'll be a little bit harder to fix.
sorry, you just couldn't leave it looking so incomplete. Even though it does look incomplete, but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fix up the sides here and whatnot, but so far that's my stormtrooper. I'll see you guys in the next episode when the head's complete. Looking a lot better and we'll start working on the body. Yeah, it's gonna look good, hopefully. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching. Oh wait, before you go. I'll show you some of my others real quick. You can leave now if you want, but this is some of the other stuff I've done that I'm proud of. One second. I'm only going to show you the good ones because that's what everyone does, right? Alrighty. First up, we got a blight caster. This is just a random one I grabbed. This is one of the first one I've done. It's Raven. And it says, Evil beware, we have waffles. <laughs> That's one of my first ones. Here's one of my second ones. On a Doom Blade. With Deadpool saying, Think it's dead. It's kind of hard to read, I know. And then there's another little comment from his personality saying, Yep. And then, then as we got after that we got a little bit better and we did a molten primordial and we ended up with that some flames inside the detail box and whatnot but I, I was pretty proud of that one and then we did a guild feud you yeah, guys cape flowing off a little bit yeah yeah and then here's the one the last one I did Right before I did my team of tokens for my Celestia deck, but that's my Arachnos Lord of Flames. I like it. I'm happy with the way that one turned out, but... Oh, my 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 team. I apologize. I'll make this as quick and painful as possible. My, my art tokens that I did here for my Celestia deck... Is the Teen Titans? I am a big Teen Titans fan, but let's go ahead and try to make this quick and painless. Yeah, I apologize, this stuff is just sliding around now, but I'm gonna hold it. Hold it hand. All right, first up, we have Silky from the Teen Titans. He counts. Then next up, we have my Elemental Token from Voice Resurgence. That being. Raven, and then she's not part of it, but she's one of my extras. We have Starfire. Her legs are, are a little big, I guess, or is it just angling? Yeah, there we go. It's just angling. Then next we have Robin, and then we have Cyborg, and I have Beast Boy. He's kicking around here somewhere. I lost him. And, uh, no, no idea how, but I will find him and I'll add him to one of my videos. But last but not least, we have our Deadpool here. Deadpool is my favorite Marvel character. And yes, I know he doesn't go with the team, but Deadpool just fits in anywhere he wants. But, thank you guys for watching. Tune in to my next video to see the finished work of our Stormtrooper here. And, yeah. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you for watching. And uh, if you comment, I will get back to you with whatever questions you have. Thank you once again. I've said it like four times now. But I do appreciate you watching. Thank you.